We begin on this Wednesday with uh, one of the strangest court cases that we have ever come across. A judge suspicious that a district attorney hacked her computer, so she hires a private investigator who turns to a convicted child molester who also, a computer expert, looks into the claims. Now that convicted molester is back in jail, his computer seized by police. Sound confusing? As John Shirick explains to us tonight, it has turned into a giant legal mess that the GBI now is trying to sort out. It all started in early February, according to a court document filed in Gwinnett County Superior Court on Monday. The document says Superior Court Judge Catherine Schrader believed that the district attorney, Danny Porter, may have been hacking into her county computer. Why? The document doesn't say. But the court filing does say that Judge Schrader sought help, not from the GBI, but from a private eye, hiring T.J. Ward to investigate the possible hacking. We've done stories with T.J. Ward about some of his investigations, and the document says Says that in this case, T.J. Ward assigned one of his employees to monitor and analyze all of the activity on the judge's computer remotely from the employee's home, 24 hours a day. The private eyes employee doing the work, a computer forensic analyst named Ed Kramer, the same Ed Kramer who was the founder of DragonCon and a registered sex offender and convicted child molester. And according to Kramer's attorney, Kramer is an expert computer analyst. Quote, the data Kramer found showed the strong likelihood of an individual or individuals actively accessing Judge Schrader's computer when the judge's office was closed without her permission or consent. Then, suddenly, on February 26th, Kramer was arrested by Lawrenceville police, witnesses telling police that they saw the convicted child molester violating his probation, secretly taking cell phone photographs of a child without the parent's permission. Kramer insists he is innocent and that the police later found no evidence on his phone of any crime. But when police arrested Kramer that day, investigators raided his home in Duluth and seized all of his computers, including the data from the judge's computer that Kramer supposedly gathered proving that the judge's computer was hacked. DA Danny Porter denies having anything to do with the arrest or the raid or with hacking into the judge's computer, but Porter confirms he's the one who later asked the GBI to investigate the hacking. Kramer's attorney says the whistleblowers are now the suspects that the GBI is investigating the judge and the private eye and Kramer for possibly accessing the Gwinnett County computer network without proper authorization. They did not respond to our requests for comment. The GBI is not saying who the targets of its investigation might be. And the whole reason Kramer's attorney filed this eye-opening court motion in the first place, to argue that Danny Porter should recuse himself from prosecuting Ed Kramer on the latest charges against Kramer because Porter and Kramer are now linked in this alleged tale of courthouse intrigue.